sweet. My uh, new friend Ken welded up my uh, hinges. Look at this. Mm, that is sweet. All four of them are done. As far as the welds connecting the uh, the door plates connected to the uh, the bushings that me and Dad made. Now this flap has to bend over, but I get it cut X amount off. I don't know how much yet, so I can hit it at about 50 degrees and then it'll stop. That was my idea for backstop. I don't want the doors to fly all the way open at 90 or beyond and, you know, be ripped off or hit things like fire hydrants. We'll ask my mother about that one. Uh, there was a little struggle from the heat. Um, the bushings had expanded while they were hot and you could not move this thing. We, we, uh, Kenny put a pry bar and we couldn't move it. So once they cool down and I put some oil on them, they're fine. You can't actually move them. If I take the vice grips off, you can't move them, but just a little bit of leverage. And they move nice and easy. But I'm going to set them on there just to see what they look like. Just Maybe just the passenger side. Um, I'd love to put the door on, but... Mm, nah, that ain't going to happen today, I don't think. I want to get the angle set. I should put the door on. Decisions, decisions. I have to put these in the bandsaw, and I have to cut right here, straight across. I have to cut a slit. The reason I'm cutting a slit probably halfway is because I want to bend just this section down a little bit so it matches with the angle of the firewall. Um, they have to be like this, not like this. With them like this, I can't get them close enough. But when you do this, they suck in, and i got just enough gap in here. I can always shim it if it's too much, but I can't um, I can't add to a gap unless I bend these. I mean, I can't take away from it. But I mean, these poppies are so tight. There is no side load. And we got bronze bushings on the bottom. You can just barely see in there. But it's seven o'clock in the morning. My neighbor knew I was out here to have a friggin' cow. Moo! <laughs> put them on I don't care ain't gonna make a lot of noise putting on six or twelve bolts all right I'll see you in a bit now this isn't how to do it's just how to do it with one hand this one's for Del boy how tight these puppies are I swear the door would stay there if you let it go uh, I'm probably putting about about 10 pounds of pressure on it. But it is open. And then it's kind of closed. I can't get too close with the uh, vice grips on it. But and I'm banging my ass off the friggin' back of the body. I do it with my leg. I'd love to put them on, but I gotta round this off. That ain't happening today. They don't squeak or nothing. I've been oiling them with uh, mineral oil. I live near an airport. I don't even notice the airplanes anymore until I'm making a video. That is sweet. I don't know, man, getting creepy. I'm gonna put these on, see how they work. I know they work. We're good. Ten more times, right? Look at that. I had them weld the pins in, the little washers that were in there disintegrated and became part of the fill, so it worked awesome, and he left the holes open. So I'll probably put my little, uh, make a little mount, put my little American flags in there or something. Ooh, that's an idea. Ooh, I got to put some tubes up front, man. We need some flags. All right, quit playing with them. Let's put the other one on. All right, this one's for Dad. Look at that. Top one's a little tight. 
but it's freeing up, not too shabby. Not too shabby. It's actually not bad. Once that stuff works in, I'd love to hang the hinges. I mean, I'd love to hang the doors, but I gotta get rid of those edges. Um, I'm gonna figure out the angle here and uh, mark it and slice it. But once again, they all have to come off. <laughs> But it's freezing out this morning. I don't know why. Look at that. We have hinges. <sighs> That's a sigh of relief. Damn that. A little tight in that top one. But uh, I come home at 3 in the morning. It's 7 o'clock in the morning. I have to go lay down for a while. Okay, guys. You have a good day. I gotta think of something else to make. Um, I thought this area was kind of blank. You know what I mean? Just a round ass and nothing great. So. Actually, no. I think we're going to take this one. And we're going to send it. We're going to send that one to the guy that uh, was in a. She freaking airplanes. <laughs> oh my god. Thank you. Peak, Richard Peak. This is what we're gonna send to your buddy for the back of his truck. This thing is 15 inches long. Stainless steel. Um, this is going to a guy who had a really nice Chevy truck, and uh, I think he took a dragon, or he got in a car accident. He destroyed it, and he rebuilt it from his wheelchair. Hello. This die hard, and then this die hard. So, he can polish it, machine it, whatever he wants. This sucker is 15 inches long, and it's beautiful. I can make another one. But, uh, I'm going to give that to Peaks Buddy. And it's, uh, what the heck is this thing? 3 sixteenths. That's going to go in his truck. I've seen this little, um, the tailgate he made had this little tiny sticker that said, Chevrolet. <laughs> little tiny print. It was like, oh, come on. But, here you go, Rich. That's for uh, the guy who built his uh, hot rod from wheelchair. I forgot his name. I think it was Dave. I'm sorry. <laughs> Isn't that too cool? I got about two hours in there. Just tracing those letters out to get them to work. Because I want one, too. Uh, that piece of strip I had is gone. I drew up a design for the bottom of my doors. To fit the curve, I made two of them. This is uh, eighth inch. And there it is. The whole secure it to, fits real good too. The whole secure it to the one inch. It's got a little notch up this end with a cobweb on it. Pretty good with a tape measure too, huh? Got just a little bit of play right here, and I'll tell you why. That, like I said before, that welding that I have, I'm gonna put a piece over the edge of this. This is like a bugger to hold. And I want that pushing out on the panel. Because I'd eventually like to get new door skins. And this is like trying to hold a sword down with one hand when you're a... What was I going to say? <laughs> uh, it's got enough room for the rubber welting. 
see this panel's dented in and then up here it's raised and then up it's dented in and out and in and it's all about fun I like it now this was a real tricky curve to make and it would take me forever to cut it out I don't want to go to bed. I want to work on the car. All right, I guess we'll go to bed. It's still, at least there's no freaking airplanes anymore. Count to ten. There'll be another one. It ain't that bad, but it's getting there. Chevrolet. That script is the exact same script as this script. Is the exact same script as this script. That's as small as I can go. And I can go as big as I want. That's the biggest one I ever made. That bugger is 15 inches. But, okay, guys. Have a good night or good morning or wherever you are on this planet. Sweet. Well, I would rather they were tight and had to loosen up than loose and couldn't be tightened up, right? I might come out later on. Ugh. I get so excited by little things. <laughs> Every little thing counts, like that mirror from a Willie's truck, that steering wheel from a 50 Chevy, that dashboard me and my buddy Hank made, the crazy, uh, geez, 80-year-old speedometer that just happens to be almost identical to the one that came with the car, completely by mistake. God bless America.